Hello class! Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. Thank you so much class for choosing Alan Shane's tutorial for you to be able to know more about accounting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. In today's discussion class, we will talk about the accrual basis and the cash basis. When we say accrual basis, these are the effects of transactions and other events are recognized when they occur and not as cash is received or paid. So here, we will have to recognize only the transactions and other events when they occur and not as cash is received or paid. Okay? So, once the transaction occurred, we will recognize the transaction. Aside from that, in the accrual basis, we have to records revenues as they earned and expenses as they incurred. So, when the, re when the revenue is already earned, so we have to record it. So, we have to record revenue as they earned and expenses as they incurred. So, according to the uh, generally accepted accounting principles, require that a business use the accrual basis. Okay? So, now, let's proceed to the cash basis. Here, in the cash basis, accountant does not record a transaction until cash is received or paid so here we have to receive the cash paid in order for us to record the transaction okay so when there is a cash receipts we will treat as revenues and when there is a cash payments in under the cash basis we will treat at a at as an expense okay so here's the difference ha? in the accrual basis we will record revenue when it is earned and we will recognize expenses as they incurred while here in the cash basis we will treat the cash receipts as the revenues and the cash payments as expenses. So here we have an illustration. A client paid the Seagull Resort 10,000 pesos on May 8, 2022 for a one-day super deluxe accommodation on May 13, 2022. So here under the accrual basis, when the business has rendered its services on May 13, the receipt of 7,000 will be considered as revenues, okay? So, in the illustration, the client of the Seagull Resort has 10,000 pesos. And it is on April 8, 2022 that the Seagull Resort received the 10,000. And the accommodation will be on May 13, 2022. Okay, under the accrual basis, when the business has rendered its services on May 13, so the receipt of 7,000 will be considered as revenues. So, we will consider it under the accrual basis as revenue on May 13 because on May 13, the accommodation will be occurred. And under the cash basis, the business will recognize revenues on April 8. So, on April 8, when the client paid 10,000 pesos, so that's the time we recognize the revenues. Then, the expenses related to this revenue transaction will be occurred on May 13. So, suppose a financial report is prepared at the end of April. So, what are we going to do? Under the accrual basis, no revenue or expense will be reported. Why? Because 
the accommodation will be or will occur on May 13. So that is why we have no revenue or expense that we are going to be reported if the financial statement is prepared at the end of April. Kasi sa May pa sila mag-accommodate. Okay, so next, cash basis. Revenue of 7,000 will be reported sa April. But the related expenses will be recognized on May 13. We will record revenue na on April because we already received cash. So observe that the accrual basis provided a better measure of the results of transactions. So the accrual basis provided a better measure of the results of transactions. So that's it for our discussion under the accrual basis and the cash basis. Thank you so much class for listening. Hope you understand in our discussion for today. Thank you so much class and God bless.